free motherboard will be fine stock even with a 12900k at least that's my guess then intel has a requirement it's like you have to be able to pull this much power so that's a big deal so let's just talk about the boards i care about i want to preference this i'm going to take this as if you are buying z690 you're buying alder like you're like yeah, yeah yeah this is what i want this is I'm not going to say don't buy Alder Lake because do what you want. I personally wouldn't, especially not yet. I'm more interested in, uh, what is it? Raptor X Raptor Lake or something like that. That's the uh, 13th gen. That seems way cooler. It's going to be more mature. You're going to be like, okay, this is how Alder Lake works. And then DDR5 won't be new because I wouldn't buy a DDR4 motherboard with this. Just go. 10th gen zen 3 i don't care honestly zen 3d is way more interesting but everyone cares about alder lake so at least for performance and like yeah it's gonna work does this mean ddr4 z690a oh this means ddr4 okay so my guess i'm going to talk about like prices wise I'd say you're going to get about maybe $50 more on these DDR4 boards because they uh, are definitely being going to have to be upgraded because that VRM has to be stronger to support 11th, uh, 12th gen because they're going to pull more power definitely, especially with going to... Was it Intel 7, which is just 10 nm on Intel's process? Later, Marcel. So we have... No one cares about the extreme, the formula. The hero is actually a board people care about. It's not a bad overclocker. But I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't buy one. Let's see. C590 hero. To be like... Six hundred dollars. What's the difference between these two? Ew, that's so expensive. Okay, only buy the hero if you're an ASUS shill. If not, don't get it. Trust me. Oh. Oh. I don't want to know. I'm gonna guess like six hundred dollars for this board. That's a lot of money. I know so many people get it. I don't know why. It's not even that good. Yep. Yep. You know why Asus is going to sell this? And it's why people are going to buy it. Because it has ROG in it. I remember I bought the Apex. My Z490 Apex. I was like, oh my gosh. I can use an, Ace, an Asus board. I'm going to be cool. <laughs> like the Unify X way more. So much more. I'm not even kidding. So the Dash E, don't buy. Dash F, Dash A. Especially with DDR4. The 690A is literally like those all white motherboards. If you're going for all white and you're like, I'm TikTok. I need an all white PC. Okay. And then I want to know the Z690. So Z590 Prime. These are like non-strix boards with their tip. So typically if you want the SP number, get one of these. Get a DDR4, it's going to cost like $300, but these boards are actually really nice. Oh, uh, probably uh, like, yeah, like 250, 300. These are definitely really good boards. I really, um, if you just want the SP, if you're trying to like game, get an MSI or slightly more, that's literally everything. Creator doesn't matter unless you actually are doing Maybe you actually will do workstation stuff on this one because you got eight big cores and eight little, so that actually might be pretty good for rendering and doing other stuff for multitasking. Who knows? Well, we probably know, but we'll see. Azrock. Who buys Azrock motherboards? Let's just be honest. Literally, I've worked on so many PCs, and I have no, I've never seen a, I've seen one Azrock board, one, one, and that was a Z370. Oh, MSI, MSI. So, 
the first one we're going to talk about, because I'm a Unify X shell, I know every secret about this Unify X BIOS. Me and Linkstar. Unify X. <laughs> um. Maybe. Maybe go for it. If it's DDR4, yes. DDR5, I'd be interested to see what... Because this will probably be able to get the the highest speed RAM possible. I mean, look at it on hardware bot. It's literally going 7,000, obviously on liquid nitrogen. But these boards are made for high memory frequencies. And I mean, it already does the insane... Uh, it already does the same cast latency on DDR4. I think I think it's actually gonna be I think the Unify X will probably be a good XOC board this time around. It's gonna be mature to be the second Unify X on the Intel platform. At the Ace, if you so the Ace and the Unify, I'm just gonna put those together. They're the same boards. If you need four dims, don't wanna go with the Unify X, go go with the Unify. If you want RGB on the motherboard, get the Ace. They so the Unify and the Ace are the same thing. Ace just has RGB. And I'm going to guess, see if I have any ace, oh, I can guess, be like 500 bucks. Ooh, gold edition. This actually looks cool. Oh my gosh. Why is this cool? 690i Unify, if you want a Unify, if you want an ITX, get a Unify. Get a Unify. I have the Z490. It was good. I've worked on Z590s. Um, They work good. I got like 4,400 flat 16s on it. It's insane. 2 by 16 um, So Z690A, if you want a cheapest motherboard possible, get a Dash A. You're gonna, you're gonna be fine. You're, trust me, you're gonna be perfectly fine. If the high end, I think, is the Edge DDR4. I actually do like the Edge boards. They're pretty good. Slightly below the Unify. Doesn't really matter. They're gonna perform amazing. Let's see. Z from. I think this is like. I guess it'd be like three, yeah, yeah, like three fifty probably. Tomahawk. So two, I want to see actually. I was just oh, and they're about the same. Is dual rank worth double the price? Right now, I'd say for DDR four, if you want to stick on DDR four for a while, go dual rank. Dual rank is. Definitely the move right now. Edge has a edge. The edge has RGB. It's always better than the uh, Tomahawk, and it doesn't have the stupid uh, PCIe layout. Why does the Unify X have the dumb layout? But it keeps my keeps my uh, GPU cool. We get to the Gigabyte. The Gigabyte. There's so many Gigabyte boards. I'm like, I don't care. Don't get a DS3H if you're overclocking. Don't get a UD. Don't get Gaming X, mate. Nah. Arrow. Start at the Elite. The Elite is where you want to kind of start. Get the Aorus Elite. Let's see. C590. I've actually worked on these boards before. They seem nice. I'm not a fan of Gigabyte's BIOS, though. I will say that. Not a fan of Gigabyte's BIOS. Oh, wow. Actually, it costs about 300 or 350. Cause so what I'm doing is adding like kind of rounding up 50 plus whatever it takes then another hundred. So their BIOS is so bad. So you can't hit, um, escape to go back. It'll be like, are you ready to exit BIOS? I'm like, no, no one wants to exit your, but I want to exit your BIOS. Gigabyte and MSI have one of the best four damn memory topologies out right now, especially gigabyte. You can get basically everything a door, a dual dim can on this. It's insane. Yeah, just get this board. If you want the cheapest real recommendation I'd get, get this. A plus four, yeah, you're fine. They'll probably up get up it to an eight, but eight plus eight, I will say that. It has like the shielded mem shielded memory, the good audio. I don't know actually how that does. I've never tested the audio, but I have friends who have them. They seem fun. Decent amount of USB ports. Oh, yeah. cool. Um, pro, and eh, just get the elite. The Aorus Master, actually. How much is an A? I'll tell you exactly how much it's gonna cost. 
costs like 500 bucks because uh so yeah i guess if you want the best ddr4 board i guess the aorus ultra but just get once again get ddr5 if you're gonna be on Alder lake upgrade later or just don't go to Alder lake at all stay on a 10th gen The Tachyon. Tachyon's basically the last board I want to talk about. Is there even a price on it? Oh. My guess was it was going to be like $700. And I still think that's right. They're going to do something to make this $700. It's the truth. <laughs> 